Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Moments with Maybe. So for this moment or video, um, I wanted to talk about, because I know in my fitness journey video, video, I talked about me and CrossFit. But as you can probably gather, I talked about it in like more of a past tense manner, as in like what I used to do, because I am deciding to take a step back from CrossFit. No, I did not get injured. Nothing like that. Um, it's just nutritionally, I need to work on my relationship with food. Um, I don't have a not healthy relationship with food, but I don't have a healthy one either, if that makes sense. Um, like, prime example, like today, just a few minutes ago, I was on Instagram and I saw a post of a girl talking. And she, she started it with... Um, the winter and fall is time for working on your summer body. What she ended up getting at is this is a holiday season where we bond with family and friends, making memories, eating good food, um, like all the real good food, you know, that isn't just isn't healthy that you wouldn't want to eat on a regular basis. So but it's a special occasion. It's the holidays. So she touched on how, you know, in the fitness industry or journey, you know, people we some people in the industry or on a fitness journey, they deprive themselves or restrict themselves of said holidays or splurges or, you know, on vacation or whatever. They don't like to, um, they don't like to derail off. But that's the, she was also got at how this is the perfect time to take a break from dieting because unbeknownst to me up until like last year, I didn't know that you're not supposed to diet the entire 365. So that was new to me, just because your body, um, it needs it needs some of the bad in it, in a way. I don't really remember how I found out about it, but yes. So you're not supposed to diet all the time. And she, she was talking about how this is the perfect opportunity to take a break, you know, uh, for the holiday season where your grandmama, mama, auntie, uncle, and all of them is just making all the real good food that you only get at that time. Um, but, you know, then there's still... People like myself will be like, no, that's not a part of my macros or like, I can't fit that in my micros for the day or whatever, whatever the case may be. Um, but yeah, so back to the topic at hand, taking a backseat from CrossFit. CrossFit is amazing. I love it. Um, and I can't wait to get back into it. But I felt like emotionally and mentally, my relationship with food had to be at like a 100 before I could, um be back present in CrossFit. I could tell that things were changing with my um, my passion for CrossFit because the passion wasn't there as much as I hate to say it. I beat myself up about it for like a good three or four months in the beginning when I first realized it. But I was, you know, I was I was still going. I'm, I noticed probably about like six or seven months ago, I called my best friend and I was like, Cam, I'm not like passionate about CrossFit anymore. Like I don't have that zeal, that mojo, that like spunk that I had before, like how you hear me talk about it, I was like, I don't feel that anyway about CrossFit anymore. And I really don't know why. And she was like, okay, well maybe, you know, it's time for you to find your new hobby or your new love or whatever it may be. And I was like, I don't know what's going to top CrossFit. I don't know what's going to compete with it because I've never met anything that matches my hustle more than CrossFit. Uh, I love it. I learned so much about myself mentally, emotionally, physically like just amazing stuff to take take from my notes um some things I learned from CrossFit is that me personally I am a lot stronger than I ever thought I was like when you're in the box and like not even about like lifting heavy I think that's one of the biggest misconceptions with the idea of CrossFit is people think it's about lifting heavy um, and becoming this buff, bulky bodybuilder or whatever, but it's really not. Everybody has their own goals that they're trying to reach. Um, but that's certainly not what mine was. Mine was definitely about just getting, being strong, like just being a strong woman. Um, and that I was so much more capable of achieving my goals and aspirations in, in the gym and in real life more than I ever thought I was. Um, and you have so much more in you than you think you do before you start something like CrossFit. Just because it's such a 
a high intensity, high packed like sport, um, once you do in a class, you realize that you have so much more. It's like you break the tip of the iceberg. It's like, oh, your whole life you've always thought like, oh, I'm 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 hitting it. I'm getting it. Like I'm doing it. Da da da. And then you go to CrossFit and you're like, oh my gosh, I have so much more in me. So that was my experience. Um, and the third biggest thing that I loved was that it was, it challenged me. Like I've never had anything challenge me, which I talked about in a previous video that a mainstream, like a modern gym, traditional gym, like it never did it for me. Like I always felt like I was missing something or I wasn't doing enough, but something just never felt right with like a regular gym. I didn't like it, but it challenges you, uh, the workouts that are orchestrated for the day. You work on strength, you work on, um, uh, you work on endurance, your stamina, you built so much that you didn't think that you never knew that you didn't have or what you like, what your strength was, you strengthen it even more. Um, and again, um, never met anything that matched my hustle more. The demand that it has for you mentally is just like, What I got out of CrossFit, I could never see myself getting that experience out of a mainstream gym. I'm not saying that a traditional gym is bad. I'm just speaking from what I learned from CrossFit in my experience. Um, but yeah, like knowing the type of person I am and how I operate and the way I think and stuff. And then going to CrossFit, I'm like, oh, yeah, like... <laughs> I'm big and bad. CrossFit is big and bad. Like, it's it's like that. And then lastly, what I learned is that food isn't the enemy, which the whole point of this video is me explaining why I'm taking a backseat from CrossFit is to focus on my relationship with food in a more focused, like, more like, okay, this is the topic at hand. Like, if you know me well, or like you follow me on Instagram or Snapchat or even Facebook, um... I post a ton about like CrossFit because that's what I've done the last year. Like it's been my life forever, not in a competitive manner, but just like being a member of the gyms and going to CrossFit. CrossFit has been my life for the last year, a little over a year. And it taught me then like food isn't the enemy, but like I talk, like I've talked about before, being on a fitness journey, you go up and down, you're going to go through, you know, it's a big roller coaster ride and you may go through the same thing over again. So, um, but yeah, that's what CrossFit taught me was that food isn't the enemy. Um, and I know I'm stepping it back, stay, taking a step back now to focus on my relationship with food. It's like, I know it, but I know it cause I learned it from CrossFit. But right now in my life, it just, my relationship I know that I have with food is just not where it needs to be. And I don't want to be in the gym working on, you know, me physically or mentally when mentally and emotionally my relationship with food isn't where it's supposed to be. Um, I'm not saying that like I just gorge and like bust out a carton of little Debbie cakes because I don't. <laughs> it's just like I'm very restrictive of myself, like super. And I don't like feeling that way um, about myself because I work hard to maintain what I do have um but yeah but nutritionally my diet I'm very strict on myself so that's my that's my sole reason for taking a backseat from CrossFit is because I knew my motivation and my passion wasn't there anymore and when I kind of like honed in on why because it's really strange I like my passion just wasn't there anymore because I've never not felt passionate about CrossFit like after my first class I knew this was going to be my gym for the next however long and then the fire burned out but after further you know thinking about it it just clicked one day that I think it's because I don't have a good relationship with food I have to be like nutritionally and physically and mentally and emotionally all straight to be on like a good page but when I'm not nutritionally on a good page like in the food sense then it starts to become an issue so that is my reasoning from taking a back seat from CrossFit. But on the back side, do not get it twisted, flipped, turned upside down 
or misconstrued because you should know that I'm most definitely still killing it on my own where it all started at home workouts. Mm, and I, oop. No, seriously, I think I am like um, the bomb diggity with at home workouts. Like, I'm not the best at like curating them, but it's like that one on one time that you have with yourself by yourself alone to like really kill it. And it's a mental game. Like, people don't realize that health and fitness in your journey is a big mental. Like, it's a vi very big, it has a great deal to do with your, where, you, where you are mentally, which I'm going to talk, definitely talk about that in a further video down the line. I um, already have it as one of my topics to talk about. But, yes, that is my reasoning from taking a backseat from CrossFit. Not that I owed anybody an explanation. I just know that I was so heavy on it at one point. And people may have been thinking, like, why isn't she da 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 And... I'm like so big on being like 100 through the good and the bad with wanting to publicly display or like document my fitness journey. So I didn't mind sharing it. I mean, hey, whatever. We all go through things and it's called a journey for a reason. That's what I think about it. But um, yes, I hope that my video, you know, may have struck a chord with some people and been like, hey, maybe I've never thought about my relationship with food or hey, maybe I want to try that CrossFit thing or I love my place I have at my traditional gym, whatever it may be. So that is it to wrap up this video. Um, and yeah, I will see y'all in my next videos.